I actually did not start doing biathlon until my mid 20s, um, but I came to it from a background of cross country ski racing and before that cross country um, and track running through high school and college. I'm originally from Cape Elizabeth, Maine, but I now live in Lake Placid, New York. And after making my World Cup biathlon debut in 2015, um, I have worked really hard uh, to make my first Olympic team in 2018. And then actually I had a breakout year at age 31 after the Pyeongchang Olympics and reached my first World Cup podium um, in 2019. So my journey has taken a different path than I expected. I use my language skills every single day. Um, my coach and I often speak Italian together. When we travel um, for biathlon, we're very often in German speaking places, whether it's Germany, Austria, or places in Northern Italy where German is spoken. So I speak German all the time. Um, I am on the athletes committee with a German athlete, a French athlete, and a Swiss athlete for the International Biathlon Union, and I can um, speak with them in their own languages. So it's a, it's a skill I use every day. Um, I'm lucky that it's also my hobby, so studying languages um, is not a chore, but rather something I look forward to doing in my free time. Um, and I, I think being an American athlete where you know, so much of, of what we see and hear uh, in, in the U.S. is English. Um, people from other countries really appreciate um, our efforts to learn even just a couple of words in their own language. And, and that was very clear to me um, at my first Olympic Games experience in Pyeongchang, where I did I put in a good effort uh, to learn Korean. It's a very difficult language for an English speaker to learn, but um, the smiles that I saw from volunteers when I would just say hello, thank you, simple things like that um, made all of my study very worthwhile. Um, so uh, it's, it's something that I enjoy and, and also something that is very practical.